Hey guys, Sophia on Earth here and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be starting something super, super, super new on my channel. But before I get started, I love to say Happy New Year's to all of you guys and Happy January. Um, so basically this video, it is called a cash stuffing video. One of my goals for 2022 is to save enough money for some certain topics. As you can see here, I have college, things for my car, some gifts for my friend, family and friends, Christmas gifts, and then myself. So I'm sure that you guys have seen cash stuffing videos on YouTube and stuff like that. But if you haven't, in summary, it's just, you know, like saving enough money as you can for certain goals and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. I will leave like the summary on the screen or down in the description. So I'm basically going to call it like Finance Friday. And this idea for this type of video actually came from my favorite Jody Dunn. So I will leave her channel down below. I thought this was going to be an awesome thing for me to do. And it is going to be a little bit tricky because I am a teenager and I do not have a job. I don't really have like a big source of income if that makes sense as you guys know i do coupon and i will resell the products to family and friends so that is my little source of income all the money here told us to be like 1440 i think something along those lines i will put the exact number on the screen but basically all of this money that i have here i've collected from doing chores around the house you know some spare change that i found cleaning as you can see here some spare change that i find on the ground and stuff like that i do keep it because money is money when i sell stuff for my stockpile and i I do have most of this money is actually like gift so some birthday money that i've had and a lot of it is actually christmas money because i did ask for money for christmas so i could start saving let's get right into the cash stuffing and as um i show you guys this video i'm going to be talking and basically just explaining a little bit more about what i'm doing but basically my source of income you guys is it really just from probably doing things around the house like some chores maybe and also reselling things from my stockpile okay so before we get into the stuffing i wanted to show you guys this little notebook and these little pages i did so i printed these out on google and I just glued them on here i have this in my little bullet journal so i have the topic and what my goal is so as you can see for college my goal for this year just so you guys know the goals that i have is for the full year so for this whole 12 months in 2022 i'm gonna be able to save five thousand. so as i save for each 500 i will fill in the jar and then at the end i will put the total amount and see if i reached it and for car stuff i do not have my license yet but hopefully i do get it in may I put a goal of 700 because if I do get my license and stuff like that I know that gas is expensive and we're gonna have to pay insurance and all of that stuff and then the next page I have gifts from my boyfriend and then Christmas gifts um $200 is my goal and then the last pages are the birthday gifts and myself these little coins back there you know change and basically this box over here that says dream big so that box you guys I'm gonna be putting every single penny in there every single dime every single nickel and every single quarter any spare change that i collect in 2022 i'm gonna put it all in this box that says dream big and i'm deciding i think that all of that change there is gonna go into my college fund so even if i reach 5,000 this year which i really hope i do any extra spare change will go right into that college fund so it'll help me get my goal for next year as well and i will talk about the 100 debit real soon so let's get right into cash stuffing all right so as you guys can see i really only have um five dollars as my smallest change i do have a bunch of 20s but that is okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with myself so as you can see there um the goal is 150 for the year and it includes thrifting shopping you know going to the arcade and etc so i'm gonna go ahead and start and i'm gonna go ahead and put in 20 dollars. So i will have 130 left for the year all right there is that so we have 20 dollars out of 150 completed for myself i'm gonna go ahead and put this aside i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my jar so there you guys have it i colored in the 20 dollars for the jar so i think this is so nice and i think this is actually going to help me a lot by watching the jar grow so let's get on to the next envelope all right so i thought about it and i think for christmas gifts i'm gonna go ahead and put in five dollars because we just had christmas you guys and this is something that i'm not going to focus on too much in the beginning of the year because i do want to focus on other things like the main priorities like college so this is going to go ahead and get five dollars So there's the $5 put in here. I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. I'm going to go and get it straight into the envelope. And then I'm going to do the coloring the jars last. So for birthday gifts, you guys, our goal is 200 So this is family and friends. I don't have any birthdays coming up. The 
next birthday i believe i have coming up is really my my parents and that is around the summertime so i'm gonna go ahead and put 50 dollars in the birthday gifts So that is 50 bucks, 150 to go. So we're off to an awesome start. And I think it is personally a very good idea to do this cash stuffing because, hey, if I need a birthday gift for a friend or something and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot it was your birthday. I do forget. Sometimes I can just go in and take the money out of the birthday gifts envelope and I can always keep track. So my goal for the year is $200 for birthday gifts because, you know, I can give someone a basket of goodies. But if it is someone like a family or like cousin or something like that, I may want to get something more meaningful if that that makes sense so yeah that is my goal for 200 and let's go ahead and put this aside next off we have boyfriend gifts my goal this year is to up to 500 dollars just for my boyfriend we have valentine's day our anniversary his birthday and christmas now what is good about this is these all these dates are actually very spread apart you know valentine's day in february and then our anniversary is in june and then his birthday is in september and then we have christmas i'm gonna go ahead and put in 50 dollars into my 500 dollars envelope so that leaves us with just 450 left for this envelope So that is great. We just have two more envelopes to stuff. So the next one is car stuff. Gas, maybe like decor. I know I'm weird. You know, decor to put things in the car, you know, make the car look nice and stuff like that. And then insurance and etc. So like I said, I do not get my license. I have to do my test in like May. So that is basically in like the half of the year. But this is like still a really good goal, I believe. You know, $700, you know, maybe I have to pay my mom, my parents for insurance. And you know, it's always good to have gas money just in case you never know what is going to happen. But again, I'm not going to be driving until may i do have my permit i am going to take a leap in it to the car stuff i'm gonna go ahead and put in 200 dollars. yes 200 dollars. hey i think i think it's better it's better to be safe than sorry you guys hopefully i do get my license in may but um it is january and i don't know this goal is pretty pretty big and if i do get the license in may then it is better to have you know a bunch of cash for my car we're gonna go ahead and stuff this with 200 dollars out of the 700 which leaves us to just save 500 more of the year all right so one two three four one hundred one two three four one hundred so this is a two hundred dollars in 20s so i'm gonna go ahead and stuff that in here right there you go two hundred dollars in here and you guessed it, you guys, the rest is going to my college fund. My goal for college is to pay off my first two semesters, and I will start in the fall of this year, but hey, $5,000 is a lot, especially for someone who does not have a very good source of income. I do believe that this year I will be able to reach this goal. This is definitely one of my big, big, big goals for the year, is to reach $5,000. This will basically pay off one year of college, around $5,000, hopefully, but my goal as of right now is to be $5,000. Better to save early, you guys, because you never know what's going to happen better just have the money on hand i do want to mention that the money that is going to be putting in this envelope so basically every cash you see here i'm going to transfer that in the bank because five thousand dollars cash on my hand i don't really want to have that type of money on me and especially if it's for something really important i want that money to be safe i actually created these little things so i cut out these posted and it made these little cute little designs so i actually already have 100 dollars in my college fund that i went ahead and put in this is my bank so i'm going to stick this in the the envelope and put it in and when i go ahead and take this cash to the bank i will count how much cash i put in and i will write it on a paper and i will put one of these <laughs> sorry let's hope it focuses i will put one of these papers i will write down the amount write debit and i will put it in the envelope so i do keep track of it so i'm gonna go ahead and stuff this envelope i'm very very excited about how much we are stuffing in the beginning of the year already for college so let's get right into it all right so we do have the 100 debit already in my account so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in the envelope right here and i'm gonna go ahead and count and see how much we are putting in this college fund 100 200 300 400 500 600 but we have more so that is 600 let's count the 20s 1 2 3 4 700 700 you guys 1 2 3 4 800 you guys 1 2 3 for 900 you guys 900 All right so this over here is 900 dollars let's count that again one two three 
four, five, six, one, two, three, four, seven, one, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, nine. Awesome. $900 right here, and then we're going to add the 50 and the 20. That makes it $970. So I'm going to go ahead and put this 50 right here. So this is $970. Now this, whenever I have the time, I'm going to go to the bank, and I'm going to go deposit this in my card because I don't want to have this cash on me, you know, especially if it's for college. But this is $970 in bills that I'm putting in my bank. All right, so again, you guys, I have 970 cash right here, and I put in that $100 debit. So that is already a total of $1,070 in it to my college fund. I am so, so, so excited about that. We are starting off great. So I put more of half of the money I started off with in it to my college fund because this is something super, super important. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. All right, you guys, so now I have $40 in quarters, and you guys already know I'm actually going to go ahead and put these $40 in quarters that I had right in it to my college fund. So $1,070 already here, plus these $40 worth of coins, you guys. I am proud to say we have a $1,100 right in it to it, my college fund. All right, you guys, so basically this spare change that I've had sitting in my drawers and stuff like that, I found it cleaning my room. I will find spare change like anywhere. I I'm going to put it in this box over here but if I find anything on the sheet like a penny it is going in here and at the end of the year I will count how much I have whatever's in here it goes straight in it to my college fund so I'm gonna go ahead and put this change in here all right there we go awesome we're gonna go ahead and close that up now my favorite part let's get right into filling in my little jars Okay, I have no idea if that transition was good, but we're going to work with it. I wanted to try something new. So this is the 1,000 mark. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit over. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this, and I'm going to go ahead and color this in. All right, so I colored in my college fund. So you can see here, it is a little bit over the 1,000. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a little line right here explaining that we have $1,010. So I'm going to go ahead and put the date in there. Now, that gives me an idea. For myself, we did put in $20. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this over here, $20 as of 1-1-22. Now, since we're on this page, let's go ahead and do birthday gifts now for birthday gifts i put in 50 dollars. so we're gonna go ahead and put that in right here i'm gonna go ahead and draw this line down here so i save a little bit more room i'm gonna go ahead and put 1 1 22 for the date so i'm gonna go ahead and color this in real quick because we did put in 50 bucks all right there we go now over here i have my christmas gifts and my boyfriend gifts so for boyfriend we did 100 so, so as i'm filling this out i'm going to be talking about something so basically it is more about this money thing so the plan for this video you guys and this kind of video it's like you know finance stuff so i want to do something that jody does she does finance friday so i'm thinking about posting a video on a friday friday finance friday of doing cash stuff and filling in these jars and filling in the envelope so basically i still need to decide what days i'm going to do it well i mean i mean like when i'm going to do it so friday of course you know finance friday but i am talking about exactly how many times a month because for me as you guys know i don't get a big source of income so it's not like i get paid like by a paycheck and i can do this weekly stuff like that so my idea is basically right now I think I'm going to do this every other Friday just so I can have more cash to stuff in so it is not like $20 each week and stuff like that. So I think that is an awesome idea to do. Really depends on the income I make. Stockpile sales in that. Um, but I'm hoping I do make a lot. All right, so this is meant to be 5 bucks. All right, so I did forget to write the amounts right here. So I'm going to put 100 up here. I'm going to put um, Christmas gifts. I did 5 bucks. I'm not really good at filling that. That is definitely not 5 bucks. That is like 50 <laughs> all right i forgot to write the amount here on this one this one was 50 dollars. yeah let me know what you guys think i think like twice a month so every other week is good um for me that works
works. I'm trying to be a little bit more active on my channel. And basically doing this stuff like this makes me more productive. And it makes me want to edit videos and stuff like that. And create these fun videos for you guys. So that is basically it for today's video, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling out this little jar. But if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. As you can see here, I completed this and I'm so happy with how this stuff worked out. I think these look so, so cute. But yeah, I think that is it for this video. So hopefully in this series, I'll see you guys in about two weeks. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!